Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope everybody's having a really great day. I got a really special review for you guys today. This was actually supposed to be my piece. This is the Catwoman third scale on Batpod. And I had it on pre-order and I had second thoughts. I just didn't know if I would be able to display it in the new space very well. And so somebody reached out and said, hey, are you selling it? And I said, yes, I will sell my pre-order. And it's Justin Chan, really great collector. And he said he also agreed if he gets it, he would do a full review for us. And so that's exactly what today is going to be. So I'm going to offer my thoughts on it as well. But Justin, of course, is going to offer his. And so without further ado, Justin, take it away. All right, here we are. We've got the Dark Knight trilogy. This is Cat Woodwin, one third scale on Batpod, made by Queen Studios. This crate or box is absolutely massive, coming in at 145 pounds. Came with these gigantic wheels to roll it all around. Absolutely insane. So let's uh, crack this thing open and See what's inside. So I'm beginning the process of assembling this thing, looking at the kind of instruction manual that's here. But the first thing that kind of has me a little bit perplexed is the Kind of breaks here. This one's good. Really, why well, this one's like in the wrong orientation and looks like it may be broken. I have to stick it back together. So I'm gonna try to figure out really gently. This thing's quite fragile. Uh, if I can get that to go the right way. All right, slow but steady. This is slowing down the unboxing, but basically I. Put a little bit of glue here to tighten it back up and then I'm going to have to still fix this kind of piece that's hanging here. It's supposed to be snapped on kind of like this other side right there. And then I had to glue this whole mount piece back on in the middle. And you can see some of the cables here are also broken off, so I'll glue those back once this thing kind of dries up a bit more. But starting to look a little bit better again. So a bit of a delay, but that'll get us back on track. But it looks like it is repairable. All right, well, I figured it out. I was able to stick this piece back on. And oddly enough, this one's in the correct orientation, but the other one that I thought was is actually broken right there unfortunately but I'm gonna try to glue it back together and should be able to get it back to where it should be it's a little disappointing small hiccup but if that is hopefully the worst that's there I can deal with that so let's see if we can fix that back together to where it should be so that these kind of handlebars or um, brakes are more aligned all right, guys. Hey, it's Chris. I'm going to uh, offer some of my thoughts and opinions on this piece. Of course, Justin is going to uh, show us his thoughts and opinions for the whole review at the very end of this video. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, obviously, you have an assembly guide, which is very helpful. Uh, of course, you know, I've had some statues recently where there was no assembly. <laughs> there was no even you know, pieces of paper, instructions or anything. Um, and so this is very nice, obviously, to have a guide, you know, where things go in the box, how to put them together and that sort of thing. So that's always very helpful. And then, of course, here we have the bike itself and, of course, uh, Catwoman on top. And uh, this is really cool. Um, I love this piece. Again, this was very, very difficult for me to give up. Um, because I'm a big fan of these movies. I love the bat pod. I had a chance to see it in person. And so this was something I really wanted, especially at the third scale price point. Um, you guys know that in my collection, I am focusing on the comic book stuff. And that's really what it kind of boiled down. Um, also, you know, the only thing that I don't like about this piece is that you have to display it at a, a certain angle. Um, at least that's the way I viewed it for my Batcave. And, and I just I couldn't really figure out a way to display it um, with the angle itself. 
And so that's why I opted to go ahead and, uh, and sell it. And I'm really glad because then now uh, he gets a chance to enjoy it. Um, and again, I just can't thank him enough for uh, filming this for us so we can take a look at it ourselves. Um, I love it. I think it's awesome. I think it feels very accurate um, to the actual film. I love the, uh, the tires. I like how they're kind of gritty and how they're, uh, they're, they're real rubber. I think originally they were going to be maybe like a, uh, you know, a polystone material resin. But uh, I think it was a smart move. Um, is this better than the Hot Toys? Well, I mean, the Hot Toys looks really great as well. However, it's not uh, at that third scale. Um, so if you want something in your collection that is really impressive and big and massive, uh, again, this is, this is why I really liked it, was just because of the, the, the sheer scale of it. Um, and as we're looking at this footage here, you could see that the detail is phenomenal. It's really well done. I'm really glad he was able to figure out those handlebars. Um, but of course, you know, she is really the main star and, and of course with the third scale, the main event is the, uh, you know, the rooted hair. Now, um, of course, uh, he does mention that, uh, you know, he's had the opportunity to have J and D and have this, of course, the J and D he feels like is the skin obviously is more lifelike, but he's very impressed overall with this. And I love the hair. I think they nailed the hair. I think it looks really good. Um, Queen Studios, they do not use a rooted hair, like a punched in rooted hair. So they kind of basically make it a wig. So it's kind of like glued on. Um, I have the uh, Heath Ledger Joker one from them and it's very well done. I mean, you really can't tell. Uh, I think the likeness is phenomenal here. Uh, Anne Hathaway without question. I think it looks really great. And again, to me, that uh, the real hair really adds to the realism of the piece. Um, the, the smaller scale, which I think looks great, obviously, but it just doesn't look as good to me because of the sculpted hair. Um, you can see the size of her next to this water bottle. Uh, so it really gives you a sense of scale. It's a large piece. And again, I, I, I'm jealous. I am jealous that he has this in his collection because I, I just I love it. But I, again, I'm so thankful because I just didn't have the space um, to be able to display it properly with this particular angle. And so again, I'm really happy I went to him. I'm really glad it all worked out. And uh, I just think it's a very, very special piece. Um, and it's I don't, I don't know if anything's going to be done like it. Queen Studios has said that they're going to do a Batman version of this. However, they haven't announced anything since then. But I think from top to bottom, from all angles, this thing looks really fantastic. Um, and it just really captures the feel and the look from the film, in my opinion. And again, it's really uh, spot on likeness to me. I think it's uh, the, just the best there is out there. Um, I think obviously the Infinity Studios is very good also at life size. But man, I just think this looks absolutely great. And again, Justin here in just a second, is going to give you all of his thoughts and opinions, but I do want to just take a second here to thank him so very much uh, for not only purchasing this, but also for uh, taking the time to review this for us, to give us a, an inside look at uh, all the bells and whistles, all the detail here, and uh, that is just really awesome of him to do so. Look at that light-up feature. Did you guys know it had a light-up feature? I didn't even know it had a light-up feature. How cool is that? Uh, very easy to turn on and off, it looks like, with that uh, hatch right there. I didn't even know it lit up. I mean, that's even cooler. So, I mean, that, that might justify the price point. Again, it's over $3,000 for this. Uh, so it is uh, definitely a, a very expensive art piece. But uh, again, from top to bottom, I think it's awesome. And so now, Justin, take it away. And there she is, folks. Catwoman on Batpod, one-third scale. Finally got her put together. And I love it. Absolutely stunning. So we'll go right to the good stuff here. So here's the portrait. And some natural lighting here. And man, oh man, it took me a while to get things together here because unfortunately, even though it came in this gigantic crate, um, some parts were broken. I actually had to fix up uh, a lot of the handlebars. The whole front piece here was actually uh, not connected. So it took quite a bit of gluing, but I think I got it back to a point where I am uh, very content with it. I don't have to uh, contact anybody to fix stuff. 
So looking at it here, first of all, I'm just so happy with it. First of all, it's huge. I decided to display it just on top of the box because the box is just completely amazing to me as well. But the, uh, the detail is great. I love the, uh, the rubber wheels. They are realistic for sure. But the detailing is quite impressive for sure. Uh, it's kind of interesting that all of the, uh, the cables that are on there are actually plastic and molded. Uh, I was kind of surprised that they're not just wire instead. I would think that that would have been uh, easier to do and less chances of breakage. I did have to glue some of them back together. So for something so expensive and coming in such a massive crate, you would kind of hope that there wouldn't be any of this kind of damage. But in the end, uh, that's why we have glue when we do this hobby. It's not like the first time I've had to do something like that. I do find that uh, I am definitely impressed with the Porsche. I did not put on the uh, goggles just yet, but I will definitely play with that. Hair is uh, very impressive for not being like a silicone type of head and being able to, to root it like that. Uh, definitely well done. There's always going to be the, the flying strands, but uh, nothing I haven't dealt with before. So I might have to kind of work on getting those uh, just cleaned up a little bit, but the putting on the goggles should help for sure. But the detailing is very well done on the, the sculpt. The portrait is gorgeous. So for a statue, um, very, very impressive for sure. I do find that the kind of plastic pieces on it. So these do look a little bit sort of toy-like. Uh, maybe it could have been ha shaded a little bit better. Um, and then there are these kind of sort of seams that are kind of up in the top here, which again, kind of make me think more of a toy. Uh, I do like some of the weathering on the black parts of the bike for sure, the bat pod. So those I thought were very, very well done. Uh, it would be pretty cool if, kind of on the, the bottom of her heel, if it was more of a, a chromy silver spike. The uh, J&D one has that, which I really, really do love, because I'm a kind of a sucker for metal and shiny stuff. But in the end, uh, this is a piece that I am very, very happy uh, to have acquired. And the key will be trying to figure out where to actually put her in my collection as she is just enormous, but an absolutely stunning piece to have. Definitely an eye catching uh, part of any collection for sure. And in the end, definitely, uh, definitely worth the wait. If you have a chance to uh, obtain one, I, uh, I highly uh, recommend it for sure. The base is heavy. It was super heavy. The detailing is great. And there's even a little kind of Dark Knight logo in the end here. But beautiful for sure. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.